Black Lives Matters finances under scrutiny once again as tax documents show the nonprofit on the brink of bankruptcy. Here's national correspondent Kayla Gaskins. Black Lives Matter! The movement swept the nation. What do we want? Justice! But a bright spotlight comes with intense scrutiny. No justice! No peace! Following the murder of George Floyd in 2020, supporters donated a staggering $90 million to Black Lives Matter. The nonprofit has spent most of that money, ending last year with a $9 million deficit. Federal filings from 2020 to 2022 show just a third, $30 million, went to other charitable organizations. $22 million went to expenses. This includes millions paid to board members and family members of co-founder Patrice Cullors. For example, $1.6 million went to the father of Cullors' child for security services. Another $2.1 million went to BLM board member Shaloma Bowers for consulting. I feel vindicated. Because two years ago, I said that this organization was a disingenuous scam, and it has proven itself to be a disingenuous scam. Patrice Cullors left BLM leadership in 2021. After documents revealed, she spent millions on luxury homes in L.A. and Georgia. She took to Instagram last week, writing, quote, For the last 2.5 years, I've been relentlessly attacked by the media. So many lies and so much mis- and disinformation. They are hell-bent on destroying my life. This organization has been capitalizing off of unfortunate deaths and tragedies and guilt tripping people to send them lots of money and donations. They have really no idea what they're doing and it shows. Uh, so that's why it looks like they're slowly going under. On their website, BLM calls the criticism misinformation from the right, adding this is what happens when black people are financially autonomous from white supremacist structures like the nonprofit industrial complex. We reached out to Black Lives Matter for a comment. We have not heard back from them at this time. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.